Hey hey, ici Frankie de Alenki et bienvenue à la deuxième partie de A Story About My Uncle. On continue dès, ma dès maintenant de la même place qu'on était. Oups. Ok, on va voir si j'aurais fini la partie plus tard. La dernière. Ok, c'était juste un autre endroit. Je change rien. Je peux encore plus courir. Je peux zoomer. Retour à l'histoire. Si au moins quelqu'un par... quelqu parlait. Ça me fait penser un peu à un jeu où t'as aucune interaction avec quoi que ce soit. Les graphiques sont très beaux. C'est comme un livre. Mais tu parles à personne. Hello, who are you? What, What the You're fuck are here. you? Wow, you look just like Fred, but smaller and with less hair on your face. <laughs> She knew Fred. I told her that he was my uncle and that I was looking for him. Oh. What's an uncle? I said that he was, that I had known him all my life. Really? Me too. I'll help you find him. Hmm. I'm Madeline. The others call me Mad Maddie sometimes. Mad Maddie. I don't know why really, but you can call me Maddie. You've never been to the village, right? Let's meet over there in the square. I'll show you around. I bet you can get there easily with your suit thing. So, I'll see you there. I couldn't believe it. An underground village inhabited by frog people. Or more like salamanders. Either way, they, they walked like humans. They talked like humans. How is that possible? I'm screwed. Je vais peut-être atterrir dessus. Eh hey boy. Euh, ok. Ouais, pis c'est quoi cette race-là? C'est ça qui est étrange. Oh, wow, wow, tu te calmes. Parfois. Bon. Continuez ce jeu. Je, je... Hmm. Oh boy, je suis pas bon. Hein? Un texte secret? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah! J'ai eu peur. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a là? Un autre cap. Ben, oh, je peux pas rester là. Hey! Allons, ah chie. Over here. Ah, elle, elle est là. Wow, il y a du monde ici. Welcome to my village. This is the town square, and that over there is Fred's tent. I haven't seen him in a few days, though. Maybe our elder Samuel knows where he is. He knows a lot of stuff. Mostly boring stuff. If you ask me, but it's worth a try. Before asking him, though, you should check out the village. It's not so bad. Unless you have to stay for too long. When you're done, go to the island with the windmill, and you'll see Samuel's cove from there. I'll go on ahead and tell him that you're coming. He's not much for surprises. Later. Okay. I thanked Madeline and agreed to meet her later. It was strange. How could I talk to someone who was not even human and still feel like <laughs> it was perfectly normal? Tu n'es pas quoi? Euh, supposément que le jeu serait pas trop long. Fait que, oh, j'ai-tu vraiment vu de quoi apparaître dans le bas de l'air? Non? Wow, 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 wow. Ok. Personne avec qui interagir. Un robot tout croche. Yeah. Parfait. Bon. It looked like most of the shacks <sighs> in the village were built out of trash. Trash from our world. It was, after all, 
a garbage disposal pad that took me here. Non, c'est vrai. Ah. Y a-t-il quelque chose à découvrir en haut? J'aurais pu prendre l'autre chemin. Wow, wow, wow. Prendre l'autre chemin aussi. Il est très bien fait, c'est... Ben, c'est pas hallucinant, mais... Si c'est vraiment un, un jeu indie indépendant, c'est réussi en salle. Fait penser à... Les graphiques font penser à... Euh, le jeu que j'ai joué là... Euh, euh, hey, c'est quoi le nom? Sleeps? Until... Until it sleeps? Non, c'est une tonne de Metallica. Among the sleep. Ok. Oh! Allons là. Si j'y ai pas été. À moins que c'est de là que je viens. C'est de là que... Non? Ok. Euh, non, 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 non. Ouais. Hé <rire> hé. For how long had Fred been gone? I'm not sure. A couple of months, I think. Less than half a year for sure. I remembered hiking with him the summer before. But when I counted the days in his journals and from when I last saw him, it didn't make sense. Maddie said that she had known him all her life. Maybe she meant it figuratively. Home. Figure. Like Home. she didn't really mean it. Like when you say you'll die if you don't get a puppy for your birthday. That's true though. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course it is. <laughs> okay, what is this face? Can you look there? No. comme un autre monde mais plus proche de la lune que nous on l'est. Je sais juste pas où c'est qu'il faut aller. Ni ce qu'il faut faire. Fait que je vais couper un petit bout. J'ai pas été là. C'est un autre tour que j'ai pas été. Puis y a de quoi. Did Fred have any kids of his own? Nope. Not that I know of. He lived alone. He didn't really have any time for a family, I guess. He was always away or busy with his inventions. He could be gone for months at a time. I never knew how soon I would see him again. Don't you think he felt lonely then? I think he was too caught up no. in his projects to feel lonely. It seems like he found new friends in the village though. Boy. Maddie seemed to be especially fond of him. Taking after all that he did. Je peux pas me pencher. Maybe chier. Fred was like a father to her. She didn't have a real father, right? If she was born from an egg. That's right. Ah, je vois. That's another thing we had in common. Oh. Bah. Bon. Ah, j'ai trouvé la suite. Faut juste pas oublier que j'ai pas trois euh, grap grappin. Oh yes. Ok parfait. Mm -hmm. Il d'avoir plein d'affaires par là-bas, on va aller voir ça peut-être plus tard. Wow. A stranger in our halls. Welcome. Yes, Maddie. Our name is Samuel. And we will do our best to assist you. Please tell us what brings you here. I told him that I was looking for my uncle Fred. We should help. Do you know where he is? Fred left us without a word. If you aspire to find him, we can share with you a sacred crystal, a power core. Fred used their kind to power his suit. You can have it if you return our Fred to us. Yeah. The crystal? Sweet! Madeline, that was inappropriate. Your help will not be necessary. 
the crystal is not for you to have. What? I want to help finding Fred. Why couldn't I? Please, Madeline, that is impossible. None of us may enter the castle. It is too dangerous. Voilà. Danger. Fred can do it, so can I. I say this for your own protection, Madeline. You are forbidden from entering the chasms. Just because you're afraid of what's outside the village doesn't mean I am. I'm nothing like you. I'll never be. We apologize. It is <laughs> true that we want to keep her safe. But she does not understand. Behind us is the power core. Take it and go into the chasms. Find Fred. Hey, and if you trouver. see Madeline, take care of her. <laughs> C'est sûr qu'elle va venir la suivre. Merci à vous. Nice. Caverne. Passe par où? C'est une place. Ouais. Quelle caverne? I felt a little uneasy about moving on into the chasms. If it was too dangerous for Maddie, would it be safe enough for me? Yes. Parfait. Yeah. Euh, J'ai oublié de regarder s'il y avait d'autres euh, trésors. Euh. Ah, c'est malade. C'est ce principe-là, je trouve ça tellement cool. Nice. Yeah. C'est tellement cool. Oh, je peux-tu, je peux-tu? Oh, je peux même pas m'agripper après ça, c'est-tu de la merde? Ok, c'était comme ça. Je sautais plus haut. Chandelle. Ah, secret. Et voilà. Mais je crois que j'en ai entendu un autre tantôt. Fait que j'ai dû le manquer. Oh. Mmh. Ah. Pas chier. Darkness swept over me as I left the glittering lights in the village behind me and headed for the ominous shadows of the chasms. Parfait. Oh, okay. No. Oh. As I entered the chasms, it struck me how much darker it was in there. The shadows were black as ink, and although I tried not to be afraid, I couldn't help but shiver. Hmm. Was it the darkness that frightened the villagers as well, or was it something else? Qu'est-ce que je peux bien aller faire? Peut-être ça. Parfait. Parfait, ok. Eh. Mm. Ok, j'arrive flush. Même parfait. Ok, euh, on va aller par là pour voir. Là, ouais, je finis très bientôt la partie. Mais qu'est-ce que c'est? Mais qu'est-ce que. Où ça? I'm glad you came. Oh, hello. Sorry about back there. I just get so frustrated. They cling so desperately to what they know. Won't ever do anything new. 
It feels uh, better when Fred is around. But I told Madeline I didn't mind, and I asked her what she was doing with the book. Oh, this? These writings? It's like a secret language. They are done by people who left the village long ago. They're hmm. called the Strays. But no one wants to talk about them. I started translating their language with help from a stray book that Fred found. This one says, Don't move when the eye is open, I think. Okay. I wonder what it means. Whatever. We should get going. Why don't you take me on your back? It'll be faster if you carry me. I used to piggyback on Fred all the time. Turn around and I'll hop up. Okay. <laughs> You're not going to drop me, right? Okay, let's Je go. Madeline climbed up on my back, and with the suit on, I could barely feel the extra weight. Malade. The winding, narrow tunnels felt like they were closing in on me. They were oddly long and twisting, almost like someone or easier, something sir? had dug them out. With Maddie on my back, I had to be careful not to bump her head on the ceiling. Oh. Huh. <laughs> okay. Oh, c'est vrai, faut que je finisse cette partie. Ok, je vais m'arrêter. Oh. Je suis mort. Donc ça c'est un coup. Deux coups. Là je suis correct. Ok. Donc, on va trouver ça ici. Ok. Farewell, old life. Let us start anew. The streets were ordinary va... people living in the village long ago. They disagreed non, with the old traditions okay. and left to form their own village, or they were thrown out for misbehaving. The stories differ a bit. Good. Fait que merci d'avoir regardé la partie 2 de A Story About My Uncle. On se revoit dans la prochaine partie. Ciao!